30 and counting. That's how many complaints Bear County Sheriff's investigators say that they've received about an allegedly fake food truck company. One of the owners arrested a week ago is now out on bond awaiting trial. The other suspect still on the loose. The night team's Patty Santos explains how the victims say they got fooled. I wanted to start a new business in food, which is, has been my dream for a while. And Alan Polanco's dream is still on hold. He says he was swindled out of $5,000 by two trailita food trailers in September. I gave a down payment, and uh, but I didn't receive nothing. The lot of I-35 Frontage Road near Southwest Military was once full of brand new food trucks. It's now empty, like the pockets of many alleged victims. They were saying that uh, they were going to help us uh, to fulfill this dream. Olanco is one of more than 30 people who paid thousands for new trailers like the ones advertised on the company's social media pages. The company told him it would be delivered in six to eight weeks. Every time we used to go, they came out with with another lie, or they say in a very nice manner, say, no, you have to wait, your, your food trailer is, is, is getting done, we have to be patient, we are very busy, we have many customers. Last week, Bear County investigators arrested Miguel Angel Cuellar Lopez and charged him with three counts of theft. Now he's out on bond. But his son, Miguel Angel Cuellar Martinez, who faces the same charges, is still on the run. If these guys have any of your money and you're waiting for this product, they are not in the business. They're not in a legitimate business. You're not going to get your product. State tax records show the company was registered in 2021 as Sirius LLC. The Tutrailita website is no longer active and the phone numbers listed are disconnected. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. There's also new activity at the company's second location on Hildebrandt. There's over 30 victims that have come forward. Do you think there are more? Oh, definitely. Yes, definitely. Bear County investigators urge victims outside of Texas to call them. The root of evilness is money, the love of money. And that's what happened here in this situation. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.